Rhode Island lawmakers and local advocacy groups are trying to work on a series of bills that could possibly bring some new regulations for nursing homes. Iowa to Sue's reporter Courtney Carter has the details on what they're asking for and why the biggest health care association in the state is not on board. In a virtual town hall, an advocacy group called Raise the Bar for Resident Care is pushing for a change to employee hours, saying the hours greatly impacted residents during this COVID-19 pandemic. Resident care coordinator and raise the bar on resident care organizer Adon Jesus Marine says they are working on a bill to ensure that every nursing home resident in Rhode Island gets a minimum of 4.1 hours of care per day. You could go 24 hours without receiving any care while you're in a nursing home and we believe that that is unacceptable. Right now, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid place the state 42nd in the country in terms of average hours of care nursing home residents receive. Supporters of this bill argue low staffing rates even contributed to a higher number of fatal COVID-19 cases in nursing homes, and they want to create a minimum staffing standard. We are seeing the consequences of not having safe staffing regulation in our state, and these consequences are tragic. Senate Majority Whip Mary Ellen Goodwin along with Representative Scott Slater, are just two of the lawmakers backing the Nursing Home Staffing and Quality Care Act. She calls it her top legislative priority. Seniors here in the state of Rhode Island really are our state treasures. Not only do we love them, but uh, they help build this country, they help build this state, and they're really a link to our past. They deserve better, um, and certainly our, the caregivers deserve better. The lawmaker is saying Rhode Island is the only state in New England without minimum staffing standards. But multiple health care advocacy groups have come out against this idea, saying that's simply not true. There is no other state in the country that has 4.1 hours as mandatory minimum staffing. Rhode Island averages more than 3.6 hours of this staffing, and in doing so, we come in consistently at the top or near the top of quality guidelines on national reports. Representative Scott Slater says the bill has been submitted, but they're waiting to have a hearing due to coronavirus. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.